All right, so for my final concept of TURs and probably for like the rest of the celebration even, um, we're going to have Int Future Gohan. Now, he has a very possible easy that could be coming for the worldwide download celebration. He does fit Future Saga, you know, the whole Trunks kind of time travel theme going on. Maybe Future Gohan could definitely easy. I feel like he's a very, very likely unit to easy. I would say it would be pretty interesting to see how they would balance this future gohan because of his reduction right he has the 58 percent damage reduction and what i will personally say is this physical future gohan was quite a very strong easy a so again it'll be interesting to see if they make this guy as good or even just much better right he's also a support unit um uh I, I don't know. The 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 big issue is with this guy sometimes is like key because he loses like Saiyan lineage, and I think does he lose Cold Judgment? No, he he loses Saiyan lineage and then Saiyan War Race. But especially losing Saiyan lineage does suck, right? No prepare for battle, right? So it's just very interesting. Um, but I think this guy could be a pretty strong easy. I can with his reduction here. So here's my concept. There's one thing I did actually uh have to notice uh after uh <laughs> looking at this guy here but uh, let's just take a look here so i did give him stacking defense in his base form right greatly raises defense uh right there that's supposed to allow you to get like maybe a couple of defensive stacks before you transform um this is the issue where i forgot you know you could just not include a trunks on the team and then he could just like not transform and then my concept you just have gohan who just greatly stacking defense there um and if we as we get more into the actual de details you know why but the change i made here is that just fourth turn right just 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 fourth turn so that's the thing i, did. I basically removed the hp restriction and trunks and just starting for the fourth turn just made it plain and simple easy they can change transformation conditions and they have before i'm not sure if they would change it to that much of an extent maybe hp 58 percent or more from the fourth turn or maybe they keep the trunks restriction and he doesn't stack defense right that's something that they could easily do but again attack and defense 120 percent 50 percent attack and defense with your turns after he receives an attack then what i did is i split his reduction so he gets a baseline of 30 percent damage reduction and then if you're under 58% HP or less, he gets an additional 28%. Now that does activate mid-turn. This damage reduction always activated mid-turn for some reason. So if you did fall below 58%, you know, whilst this guy is taking hits or during the turn and he's like, let's say someone gets hit with a super attack, you fall under 58% HP. That does activate his reduction mid-turn, right? The full passive, right? And that's how it works with this damage reduction. Which is interesting because certain units work like that and certain units actually do not work like that um now bonner master and disciple category allies get key to an 35 percent attack and defense i just increase the support ability nothing really too drastic there then of course he transforms when conditions are met now this go on obviously really good but i wouldn't say he's anything like that exceptional he's just basically a tanky support unit which obviously it's still good obviously right stacking defense and being like a tanky support unit is still really good um but where he transforms is where he gets really good like especially now funny enough um you could argue the base gohan was better than this super saiyan gohan specifically because he had the defense raise for the turn um on top of that he gave support and this reduction could activate mid-turn so he would still be able to get the full reduction whilst having the start of turn defense which is like it's very rare for a character to be better potentially than they would a pre-transformation and post-transformation funny enough the, uh, another unit you could think of that's just like that um could i would he be here yeah this guy this trunks right where he's kind of better pre-transformation than post-transformation it's just like this so it's like kind of like <laughs> really is a bonner master and disciple in that scenario right but um the guy the issue with this guy he lost his support too he's reliant on having certain units and the rotation rate so it's just very odd um i kind of fixed that up just a little bit to make him more consistent now super saiyan gohan 
this guy is really good. I, I made him really good. I will admit. Um, maybe maybe because I'm biased. I, I will say I, I'm a, I personally a big Gohan fan, Hybrid Saints fan. I always like this future Gohan, and I think that they should do him justice personally. I mean, he released just before, no, just after STR Cooler, or was it before STR Cooler? He he released. I think it was right after STR Cooler. Yeah, because he, he's like a transformation, not an active skill transformation. Imagine, if this guy was active skill transformation, that'd be really good. So, Gray the Razor's attack, I give him still the attacking attack, but now I did give him the 50% defense for the turn specifically, uh, then he does immense damage, right? So, just the attack and defense raises, he'll be stacking his attack, getting stronger offensively, right? 158% attack and defense, 58% attack and defense for the battle after he receives an attack, multiple good buffs. Of course, he has his 58% damage reduction. And then for each bottom master disciple category ally attacking in the same turn, he does get the same attack and defense buff, but now he has key 2, which is really good. All allies key 2 and the attack and defense was 40% if there's an ally whose name includes Trunks on the team. So he also still keeps his support ability, but this time it's two allies. <laughs> um, then he launches an additional super attack if there's an androids or future saga category enemy. I mean... Uh, just looking at it, if there's one thing I would change, probably just remove the greatly raising defense, keep it for one turn, and then make this restriction the same. And that's probably what all I would change there. I, th I think maybe him stacking here is where it's like, okay, maybe it's a little bit much, and it solves the issue where it's like, okay, um, the trunks, you know, specific part of the passive here will matter more, and we don't have to take that out, right? So, yeah, I, I actually would say just put like run recording and looking at it. Remove the greatly stacking defense, make it just for one turn. Even though it would have been cool, he doesn't need to stack I like that, probably. That's probably where it's like a little too good, right? <laughs> but, and even then, without it, he's perfectly still fine, still in his base form. And then it's like, okay, um, if you don't, you, you have the trunks on the team anyway, so he's gonna get the full support abilities to all allies, which is very powerful. I mean, this guy again, just a tanky support unit is really the idea behind him. But then, you know, if you're against an Android or Future Saga enemy, he could start actually begin to do really good damage. Um, obviously with the stacking attack, you're getting the extra stacks there, and then obviously just an extra super attack guaranteed is really powerful. So that's kind of just my idea with this guy, uh, and all again, very just simple-ish design, not really much like change in terms of what he's aiming to do. Um, now here it is right here, category restricted passive weapon, including himself. Uh, second image speed versus Omega, he mentioned the hit buff pre super. Cool, of course, comment just to show how insane he is. Let's see. Um, how insane is he going to be here? So, easy infantry Gohan rotates with Vegeta and Trunks. Old Gohan 200%. Tech Gohan Toner 1. Physical Ultimate Gohan is the other floater. Uh, 219k, 438k. Gets hit, he's at 700k. And then he takes this much damage from Tech Cell Super again as a defensive unit. That's fine um let's see start of turn this much damage okay this much defense uh 554 then post single super he that's 700k again double digits from tech cell super and under 58 percent hp which makes sense because he does have type advantage with the 58 percent reduction i mean even right now this guy if you fall under the 58 percent hp reduction he could probably eat tech cell super very well with type advantage and damage reduction so i'm like not really surprised by seeing what these numbers would be um again his super attack effects yeah so he would be hitting what six mil attack stat which is not good in the slightest right i would say six mil attack stat is pretty bad but again you have to keep in mind that this unit is very defensively orientated so that's where it's like okay he's a he's strictly a defensive you know support unit right um now we see him transforms, and I assume this is where damage is going to start rolling in because he has a lot of the extra start of turn attack and defense, specifically the attack, I'd say, and then he has the guaranteed additional super. So again, this is assuming uh, the three stacks in base, right? So that's, I guess that's the difference, right? He's getting stacks. Let's see, is, is it too bad? Um, Yeah, it probably is too bad. Okay, he takes nothing from physical metal cooler. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll look at these numbers like let's, we're assuming he has three stacks in base right so he gets up to 1.2 million at defense post single super and then if he does two super attacks he's at 
Um, uh, like 1.64. Okay, well, <laughs> that's pretty good. <laughs> Assuming he's always hit for these, for the attack buff. Uh, 9 million, and then into 10 million. So he's stacking attack. Yeah, I would say, yeah, just remove the stacking defense, honestly. And that's 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 all I would do. Uh, change that. Uh, maybe I was I was kind of silly when I made this out of what. I made this in the middle of the noon. Maybe maybe I'm just silly in general, right? But whatever. Um, let me know what you guys are thinking about this easy a concept. Again, assume that the stacking isn't there. Just just pretend that's not there at all. What about that? That would probably be the best outcome. <laughs> He'd be a little too good with that with it. But um, I, I I do like this general idea of what he's doing overall. And uh, hopefully he does easy. I think that'd be pretty cool. But we'll see. I'll catch you in the next video. And peace out.